I'm Diana. I'm actually a patient advocate for upper cervical, and um, I'm also a patient of Dr. Arnon. He wants to do this this evening because a lot of people don't know what upper cervical is, and um, I'm certainly an advocate for uh, healing. You're having your body heal itself without drugs. So that's what this is really about, just to educate you. Dr. Arnon is a real doctor. He's a chiropractor, but he's a real doctor, and he went to a real medical school. It's in Atlanta. <laughs> it's in Atlanta, Georgia, Life University. I know where it is. I was actually stationed in Atlanta, so it's near the reserve base. Um, the D word. The D, the reserve place. Dobbins? Dobbins, thank you. <laughs> Dobbins, Dobbins Reserve Base that's in right. Atlanta. That's right. that's Thank you. Right. And so that's where it is. So I've seen that. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been a patient since uh, April of 2011. Right. No, 2010. 2010. And um, there's only one person in here besides my husband that has heard my story, and um, she is a patient. Yes. Um, Forest Park was having a little health fair thing. So I went there to see another friend of mine who worked for Amron and she, everyone had a little booth or whatever. So I was just walking around because I walked around the forest park and he was there and it, with the booth and he says, I bet you I can check your posture and uh, no, he said, let me check your posture. I said, I have an excellent posture, not a problem. He says, well, let's check, just check it anyway. So he did and he's got this little thing that he uses and you know, the little lines. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Anyway, it wasn't straight, okay? He showed my my back or whatever he measured. It went like that. I'm like, that is not true. He says, well, why don't you just come into the office and we'll check. And I'm like, you're just trying to get me, I mean, in my head, I'm thinking he's just trying to get me into his office. But for 20 bucks, yeah, I'll do it because that's what he was offering. A coupon for $20, you come into his office and he gets to check you. So he did and, um, my first visit, he started describing things. Actually, it's the second visit because I got an x-ray. He started describing symptoms that I had had years before. Um, I'm an Air Force veteran, and of course we have to jog and blah, 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 blah. Well, my last five years or so, I started having trouble with my hips, uh, and I thought it was just because I was running on hard surfaces. So they told me I should have uh, put some inserts in my shoes and um, then when I went to the podiatrist, he said, you have one leg shorter than the other. So they got five, yeah, $500 insert. I went to, to the doctor and they you know, put a mold, blah, 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 blah. And they, you know, this shoe and this shoe. But of course I still had to do the running, you know, I had to qualify, so I did all the running. And the problem didn't go away. I still had pain in my hip and I started getting some other symptoms and it never went away, but anyway. He's described, he says, oh, you probably have uh, problems with your hip when you run. And I didn't tell him any of this. He told me. And I'm like, well, yeah. He goes, yeah. He says, I think we can fix that for you. So after the x-ray, we did, blah, 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 found some other things. But the point is, he diagnosed what I, the problem I had before I told him I was having a problem. And he was willing to do it without drugs. Trust me, I'm in. Okay. So I got more information from him. The gentleman that you saw that you may not have been able to hear, had, uh, there's a book called What Time Tuesday. And he is also, he's over all the advocates for upper cervical. He was gonna kill himself. He had, is it Tay-Sachs? Tri trigeminal neuralgia. Tri trigeminal neuralgia. And he had suffered that, I think 12 years, I may have the years wrong, but he had suffered it for so long he was actually, he had planned to kill himself, and that's what the book is about. And um, I think it was five o'clock he was going to kill himself. Well, his wife had heard, and I'm telling you a little excerpt, excerpt from the book, his wife had heard about upper cervical. And so she had made a appointment for him on Tuesday, and he didn't know, but it was like 10 o'clock that morning or something. So uh, I think he, he was going to kill himself earlier, but he decided to put it off and go ahead and take the appointment since his wife had made the appointment. So, to really speed up through the, the, the book. He went to the appointment, the doctor um, actually, I don't know if they did a correction or whatever, but anyway, he decided to do whatever the doctor said to, 
and when he did it, he actually felt better. With this, um, um, Doc, you can, you can confirm, they don't, he wasn't sleeping for years. I mean, he couldn't sleep, he couldn't get rest, there was no relief from whatever he suffered, okay? He was always in pain, and he was just up to here. And the, the medication he was taking, he was getting worse and worse, and it didn't help. So he was gonna kill himself and just end it. So when he was in the doctor's office, after he had gotten the adjustment, he, had, he actually went to sleep, because they, they had you rest after. He actually went to sleep in the restroom. And he, in the resting room. <laughs> yeah. And he said, oh, it's just a fluke. You know, I just, I was just probably tired. But then when he actually got like an hour or so of sleep, which he had never gotten in years, he was beginning to be a believer. So he put off his suicide. And then of course the rest is history. He is, like I said, the national patient advocate for upper cervical. Anyway, um, y'all didn't come to hear me. I just want to tell you, Dr. Arnold, I believe in what he's doing, uh, again, because um, he believes that your body can heal itself. And I believe that too. Uh, I don't believe in drugs. I know the drugs are supposed to help your body rest long enough so that it can heal. Drugs will not heal you. Your body heals itself. And that's what he's about. Okay? So he will talk to you about upper cervical. His name is Dr. Robert Arnone. I'm sorry, and this is his wife, Tori. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dr.